Picture two old guys sitting in a coffee shop in some small town near the U.S.-Mexican border. They're talking about a subject which I'm sure gets talked about an awful lot in the uh, border towns in the U.S. Southwest. Immigration. Um, these two guys are saying, listen, the, the uh, poor people from Mexico are coming over here and it won't be long before they've overwhelmed the place uh, because they're obviously these Mexicans are chronically incapable of creating wealth because of whatever is wrong with their society and uh, the poverty is driving all these Mexicans into our country and pretty soon they're going to drag us down to their level. I've never actually heard such a conversation taking place but I rather suspect that that sort of conversation does take place. Um, picture, if you will, uh, two guys sitting in a different coffee shop in another state, but also along the U.S. border. These guys are somewhat educated and have noted that um, Latin America's economic situation is uh, far more optimistic than that of... Uh, oh, say, uh, the developed world in general, and they see the leaps and bounds being made by Latin America economically, and they look at it this way. One guy says to the other, these guys are getting so prosperous that it won't be long that they're going to start threatening our economic uh, health. They're going to start challenging us in the most important, um, the most important aspects of... Um, uh, of our economy. They're going to start coming at us in the IT stuff and the service industry and all that kind of thing. Really big, uh, important industries in our society. Latin America is an economic threat to us. Or it could be. Okay. Two different opinions as to why um, uh, Latin America is something of a menace to the United States. A third person who is not related to either of these people, is sitting alone on his, in his house watching television. And he sees one news story about illegal immigrants being apprehended. Um, and he thinks the way the first two people in the coffee shop are thinking. The next news show says um, Latin America uh, ec economically is outpacing us all and pretty soon we're going to be dealing with uh, some sort of an economic powerhouse to our south. He sees Latin America as a potential rival and a threat that way. In other words, simultaneously, he sees Latin America as a threat because of its poverty and a threat because of its wealth or potential wealth. He fears Latin America for two mutually exclusive reasons. No matter what, when he looks at Mexico or when he thinks of Latin America, he sees a threat, and in his mind, there's virtually no way for it not to be a threat. There's no way for him to see it neutrally, in other words, as simply something that's there. It's neither a, th a threat nor a, nor a, a benefit. It's, it's just the way I think most people see Mexico, Americans, when they think of Mexico, it's just a country that's over there. But um, our fellow sitting alone watching the news has a pathological view of the situation. No matter how you phrase it, Mexico, or Latin America in general, is a menace to him. That is unhealthy thinking. And that is precisely the sort of mental trap that one gets into when one pursues things like anti-natalism in a particularly morose or morbid way. You paint a very bleak picture of the world, and pretty soon, the best you can come up with is the elimination of suffering. You've forgotten what it means to actually believe that there's the possibility of happiness, of suffering's exact opposite. Thank you.